Hello, you're watching the NAN News Highlights. I am Timmy Tokwe Monli. The Director of Peacekeeping and Regional Security ECOWAS Commission, Dr. Syriac Agnekatom, says the extension of the ECOWAS mission in the Gambia will top the agenda of the ECOWAS Chiefs of Defense Staff meeting in Lume on May 14 to 16. Agnekatom said the meeting will review the mission, which will end on May 20, and approve a new mandate of one year extension pertinent to assist in the reformation of the country's security sector. Mrs. Abike Dabiri Erewa, Senior Special Assistant to the President on Foreign Affairs and the Diaspora, has warned against patronizing unaccredited universities outside the country, noting that the Nigerian government will not accept certificates from such schools. She said this while fielding questions from executive members of the Nigerian Students in Diaspora, Benin Republic chapter. The National Bureau of Statistics says automated telemachines from selected banks across the country recorded transactions valued at 1.568 billion naira in the first quarter. The Bureau said a total of 457,226,406 transactions valued at 32.48 trillion naira were recorded in the first quarter on electronic payment channels in the Nigerian banking sector, while ATM transactions dominated the volume of businesses with 212,370,853 transactions. Torrential rains have hit Karungi District, Western Rwanda, killing 10 people. The downpour, which started around 8 p.m. on Sunday and stopped around 2 a.m. today, triggered landslides that killed the victims, with some residents still missing as the death toll continues to rise. The Rwandan Ministry of Disaster Management and Refugees said 183 people were killed, while 215 others were injured in disasters triggered by heavy rains in the first four months of 2018. Russian President Vladimir Putin has been sworn in extending his almost two-decade rule by a new six-year term. Putin, who won the presidential election held on March 18, gaining 76.69% of the over 56.4 million votes cast, has already proposed Dmitry Medvedev as Russia's new prime minister. For details of these and other stories, log on to our website, nan.ng.